So here we'll show you the removal and replacement of the right storage lid drive cylinder in the 370Z. The process is identical on the left side, except it's a hint easier on the left side because the right cylinder has two travel sensors on it or status sensors and the left one has only one. Uh, otherwise it's the same, it's just mirror imaged. Um, easy to take out, all you need is a small flat screwdriver and uh, some uh, snippers for zip ties and you need some electrical tape and uh, a few small zip ties. So let us show you how it's done. Um, the rear mounting pin, meaning the one on the shaft, is actually a collar style that where the collar wraps around the um, rod end over here you pull that up on the other side you would push it down and you then pull the pin out with this you have one side of the cylinder disconnected already the smart thing to do at this point is to push the shaft in a little bit and then um, we use our small flat screwdriver to get under the um, a retaining clip on the uh, ball joint in the rear. I have just walked that off the ball joint uh, about a quarter inch and at this point the uh, cylinder simply releases from the ball joint. You want to watch out that you don't move this clip off the ball joint completely because it's a bit of a pain to get it back on. So now we're down to um, cutting a zip tie over here. Actually, first we'll have to unwrap some of this tape. Um, Nissan's supplier has gone a little overboard with the way they wrap this up. And uh, we'll unwrap all this tape. I would suggest that when you rewrap, you don't wrap back to beyond the end of the cylinder because the tape could get caught and pulled into the cylinder and there you run into trouble. It is one of the failure mechanisms that we find for some of these cylinders that actually some of the tape was uh, pulled into the cylinder and then got caught and the seals and everything um, failed prematurely. So actually I was wrong about having to cut the zip ties it's, uh, necessarily but it makes the job a little bit easier. So we take this one zip tie off just to make the removal of the uh, hoses and the um, travel sensors easier. Just as we've shown you on other cylinders, the easiest way to get these clips out is to hook a small flat screwdriver between the fitting into the small gap here. You move the uh, clip out of the way, do the same on the other side. And uh, once these clips are slid out of the way, you can pull the hoses out. Note on the right uh, storage lid drive cylinder, the shaft end hose is number 33, the blunt end hose is number 34. If we were on the left side, this would be hose number 32 and 31. No need uh, for us to show you the left side removal because it's just the same, a little bit more of the same. I will now put some paper towels under here just in case there is uh, any fluid dripping out. There should not be that much fluid dripping out, just a few drops. So we can already pull the hoses out, one and two. Now we're down to the travel sensors. You can wiggle them and pull them out of there. If uh, this was too hard, then you could very carefully slide a screwdriver under here, but you don't want to damage this solid state sensor by putting too much force on it. And you don't want to pull too hard on these wires. That's really the only way these sensors fail, if the wires get pulled on too hard or if they get uh, mishandled. So here we are, we've got the old cylinder out and we'll put in a fresh new one, rebuilt by Top Hydraulics better than new because we put in much better seals. The inside of these cylinders is far better than the original ones. Under similar circumstances should last about three times as long. And uh, just as I said with the 
other cylinders um, we always want to put the o-ring on the hydraulic line fitting first then put the hydraulic line fitting in and then um, reuse the clip from your original cylinder slide it in here I'll fasten it in a moment first I'll deal with the second hose I'll grab the second o-ring and uh, as I said earlier for other cylinders we always supply these o-rings they're pre-lubed easy to install with instructions on how to install them and you get a spare o-ring just in case you drop one or have or pinch one or the likes and here we go we put our clip back in it clicked into place we push this one back in clicked into place and um, now we just uh, get some electrical tape and uh, of course we redo the zip tie that I took off for convenience again this could have been done without taking the zip tie out but may as well show you the whole thing so here we go the zip tie really only ties the uh, electrical to the hydraulic here so that it doesn't get uh, too much tension later on when things are moving they are tied securely together now we just uh, start winding some electrical tape around here and again as I said I don't think it is wise to overdo this taping let's just cover everything so that the hoses don't move out of place into the wrong direction get caught anywhere but we can clearly stop here and there we go reinstall the cylinder simply push it back on the ball joint over here extend the shaft and uh, put the mounting pin back in wrap it around the collar done cylinder install. Ta-da!